أهلنا إلى بعيد يتهجمنا أو إلى عدو ملكته أمرنا لم يكن بك علينا غضب فلا نبالي ولكن عافيتك هي أوسع لنا نعوذ بنور وجهك الكريم الذي أشرفت به الظلمات وصلح عليه أمر الدنيا والآخرة أن ينزل علينا غضبك أو يحل علينا سخطك لك العتبى حتى ترضى ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله اللهم ارحمنا بالقرآن واجعله لنا إماما ونورا وهدى ورحمة اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جلينا وارزقنا تلاوته آناء الليل وأطراف النهار واجعله لنا حجة يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك عيشة هنية وميتة سوية ومردا غير مخزي ولا فاضح اللهم أصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرتنا التي إليها معادنا إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من سرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحج حج محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور مهدثاتها وكل مهدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساعلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيء الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد Respected viewers to each and every one of you I say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. All praises are due to Allah. We thank Him, we praise Him, and we believe in Him. We testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is His servant and messenger. May the peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah be upon him, his family, وَمَنْ تَبِعَهُمْ بِحْسَانٍ إِلَى يَوْمِ الدِّينِ And whoever follows him towards righteousness until the day of Qiyam. For Tabarakallah, the reminder today is about a very important topic. It is about an enemy within ourselves. The reminder today is about an enemy within ourselves. And the enemy is none other than the tongue. The tongue of mankind, سُنْيُ لَمَنِي Nengolu has been the cause of destruction throughout the ages. Then, now, and always. In other words, we can even call the tongue a weapon of mass destruction. For Tabarakallah, it has destroyed so many things. It has destroyed our deeds. It has destroyed our relationships. It has destroyed our connections, our love, 
mutual um, respect and understanding. With our tongues, we attack the reputation of individuals. We attack their self-respect. With our tongue, we attack their dignity. With our tongue, we justify what is wrong. With our tongue, we are selfish. We, 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 we make sure everything is centered around us. If it's okay, well and good. If it's negative, then we use our tongue to fight back. It has caused so many damage. It has brought down many a people. Many people have been attacked with our tongues. But unfortunately, brothers and sisters, the greatest victim with the tongue is ourselves. If an individual uses his tongue to cause damage, he becomes the greatest victim. Anytime you decide to attack people, to belittle them, to discredit them, to disrespect them, with the intention of causing harm, inshallah what happens is Allah makes you the victim of your action. You will be the first person to dance to this tune. So brothers and sisters, um, it's what I'm thinking about. That with the tongue we criticize people, we backbite them, we do everything that Allah decides we shouldn't do or Allah commands we shouldn't do. It is easy to say whatever comes to mind. But the problem is, how do I decide what to say, when to say it, and how to say it? Prior to talking, whatever I'm about to say, would there be any benefit in what I'm saying? If there is, carry on talking. But if at all there is no benefit in what you are about to say, it is the command of the Prophet um, of Allah Azza wa Jalla and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for you to remain silent. It only takes few seconds few seconds for you to destroy what you have worked for for so many years in the past. It, it only takes few seconds to destroy your actions with the action of the tongue all the time. These kind of irresponsible spe speeches have far-reaching consequences in our lives. In this life and the life hereafter. And in the lives of those who are being victimized. When we attack people, we might, I might say something wrong, and at the end, I would leave. After leaving, what would happen is, whoever is being attacked is in trouble. And I might be at home drinking attire. It doesn't work out. But the fact of the matter is, with our tongues, whatever is being said is noted. Right now, I'm, I'm on Facebook Live. I'm being recorded on Facebook Live. And um, people, people can access this recording all the time. How about Allah, the Almighty, who said, whatever what you mention is being recorded. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, مَا يَلْفِذُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ مَا يَلْفِذُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ no, Not a single word do you utter except that there is a watcher watching over you, an observer waiting to write down whatever you say. And the sad thing is, on the day of Qiyamah, our limbs will testify against us. The tongue that is being used to attack people will stand against you in the presence of Allah and say, Ya Allah, I said this to so and so at such a time without justification. And my intention was to cause harm. My intention was self-centered. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in the Quran very clearly. يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتَهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ وَأَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ A day when their tongues and their hands and their feet will testify what they used to do. Imagine standing in the presence of Allah, only for the tongue to say, Ya Allah, I was the one who said this, and I was the one who said that, when even what was being said could not be justified. But the intention was, whoever was saying this intended to cause damage to humanity. Brothers and sisters, when was the last time we thought about saying something only to say to ourselves, you know what? I wish I did not say what I said. But then it is already late. 
So we need to be courteous whatever in, in whatever we say because insha'Allah when we stand before Allah Azza wa Jalla, we will have to answer. Um, Abu Sayyid al-Khudri narrated um, in a hadith wherein the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when the son of Adam, that's me and you, myself and everyone, the Prophet said, when the son of Adam wakes up in the morning, all the limbs, the hands, the ears, the eyes, the nose, the legs, Everything humble themselves in front of the tongue and address the tongue thus. Be careful. Be careful in your dealing with us because we are what you become or we will be what you become. If you are straight, we will be straight. If you are bent, we will be bent. If you are straight, we will be straight. If you are crooked, we will be crooked. Imagine the individual Deposing himself is scared of his own tongue and the hands every morning that you wake up know that your hand is talking to your tongue. Your eyes is talking to your tongue. Your hearing is talking to your tongue. Your legs are talking to your tongue. What are they saying? They are saying be careful of Allah regarding us. We are just following you. We are behind you. If you are straight we will be straight. If you are bent we will be bent. So, Fatabarakallah, if the individual's um, um, limbs are afraid or scared of the tongue, how about those out there on the receiving end, brothers and sisters? Again, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A slave may utter a single word, a slave may utter a single word without taking any heed. But that single word has displeased Allah, and on the day of Qiyamah, he will be dragged to Jahannam just by uttering one word. One single word. I might have uttered 50,000 words, but out of them, the prophet said, I might utter only one word which displeases Allah. And on the day of Qiyamah, the prophet said, I will be dragged until I am thrown in Jahannam. So I ask them, why am I here? The answer would be because you uttered one single word that you were not meant to utter. So we should be careful before saying anything. Another th um, narration of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, he said, a, ma a man may be an arm's length. We can be very close to Jannah. To the extent that the distance between us and Jannah is just the arm's length. The length of the arm. That's the distance between us and Jannah. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, because of our tongue, because of the things that we say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will move us away, away from Jannah for a very long distance, far away from Jannah, just by uttering one word. So brothers and sisters, it is important that we take heed before mentioning anything and let's be sincere when we, when we decide to say anything. Why am I talking? What benefit is in what I'm about to say? What's my intention? Is it to please Allah or is it to please creation? Or have I intend to harm anyone? Is there anyone out there who is my target? That's why I'm talking the way I am talking. Allah knows. Whatever is hidden is known to Allah. I might fool everyone out there, but we can't fool Allah. If there is a black ant at the bottom of the um, 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 earth, walking on a black stone in the darkness of the night, Allah sees that and more than we see each other. And Allah knows the intention of that and prior to the and taking action. So nothing is hidden in the eyes of Allah. And on the day of Qiyamah, everyone, we, everything will be made clear. Again, the Prophet ﷺ said, most of the sins of the son of Adam are due to the harvest of the tongue. Someone even asked him in a very lengthy hadith that Ya Rasul, towards the end of the hadith, he asked Ya Rasulullah, can our actions, the things we say, can that earn us Jahannam? The Prophet said, don't you know that most of the things, most of the reason why people are dragged into Jahannam mainly is due to the action of their tongues, the things that they say all the time without taking heed. So the question is, I should start ask, ask myself. How many th bad things have I said towards others without taking heed? I've been doing this for a long time. When was the last time I sat to myself and said, the thing that I said, is it right to be said? The one it has been directed to, has he done any harm? What, what scores do we have to settle between myself and him? Why am I saying so and so and so? It is important that we sit down, brothers and sisters, and take heed, ask ourselves, why are we saying this? 
why do we say such and such a thing without any without any um, authority from Allah Azza wa Jalla? Without any verification, even though Allah said before saying anything, verify it, brothers and sisters. Again, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Riba, interest, usury, is divided into 70 branches. Interest is divided into 70 branches. The Prophet said, the lowest of the branches is to commit incest. Incest is for an individual to commit adultery with his mother. Subhanallah, na'udhu billah. The Prophet said interest is divided into 70 branches, the lowest of which is to commit incest, adultery with one's mother, and the highest of which is to attack the honor of your brother without any reason to do so. That's number 70. Number one is incest. Then there comes number two, three, the 70th one is to attack the honor of your brother without any reason and without any justification. Again, the Prophet wasallam said, whoever protects the honor of his brother, Allah Azza wa Jalla will save him from Jahannam. Imagine Jahannam, hellfire, that will be questioned on the day of judgment. Allah will ask Jahannam, are you fool? And Jahannam will ask Allah, Ya Allah, do you have more for me? I still have space to take more. Allah will ask Jahannam, يَوْمَ نَقُولُ لِجَهَنَّمَ حَلِمْتَ لَعَتِ وَتَقُولُ حَلْ مِنْ مَزِيدٍ وَأُزْلِفَتِ الْجَنَّةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ غَيْرَ بَعِيدٍ Allah said a day when we will ask Jahannam, are you fool? And Jahannam will respond, Ya Allah, do you have more? I have more space. For people, more so people that use their, their tongues in that which is very displeasing to Allah in attacking the honor and dignity of their brothers and sisters. Another hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, whose Islam, someone asked him, Ya Rasulullah, whose Islam is best? Whose Islam is the best? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, gave an important answer and that was he said the person by virtue of whose hand and tongue people are saved. Otherwise the Prophet said al-muslimu man salim al-muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi. The proper believer, the proper Muslim is the one by virtue of whose hand or whose tongue and hand others are saved. So, brothers, we need to sit back and say to ourselves, you know what? Whatever happens, come what may, I will not use my tongue or my, um, my hand to harm anyone. Besides, um, when we attack people, uh, we might jump into a conclusion, but the fact of the matter is, Allah knows who is better on his side. In the eyes of Allah, the best among us is known to Allah. Allah mentioned in the Quran when he was talking about um, reconciliation for the brotherhood. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةٌ فَأَصْلِهُ بَيْنَ أَخْوَيْكُمْ Allah said, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةٌ That believers are one single brotherhood. فَأَصْلِهُ بَيْنَ أَخْوَيْكُمْ Make reconciliation between your brothers. Then he said, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا O you who believe, O you who have faith, لَا يَسْخَرْ قَوْمٌ مِنْ قَوْمٍ عَسَى أَنْ يَكُونُوا خَيْرًا مِنْهُمْ وَلَا نِسَاءٌ مِنْ نِسَاءٍ عَسَى أَنْ يَكُنَّ خَيْرًا مِنْهُنَّ وَلَا تَلْمِزُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ وَلَا تَنَابَزُوا بِالْأَلْقَابَ بِئِثَ إِسْمُ الْفُسُوقُ بَعْدَ الْإِيمَانِ فَمَنْ لَمْ يَتُوبُ فَأُولَاكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُ أو فَأُولَاكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ Allah said, O you who believe, let not a group of you scoff at another group. Let not one group laugh at another one. Because the one being laughed at might be better than the one laughing. This is what Allah says. If you are laughing at someone, Allah said, stop laughing. If you are mocking someone, Allah said, stop the mockery. If you are insulting someone, Allah said, stop the insulting. If you are trying to belittle someone, if you are trying to tarnish the image of someone, Allah said, stop, because he might be better than you. That's not me talking. That's not even Rasulullah talking. لَا يَسْخَرْ قَوْمٌ مِنْ قَوْمٍ أَسَى أَنْ يَكُونُوا خَيْرًا مِنْهُمْ Let not a group scoff or laugh at another one, because the one being laughed at might be better than the one laughing. He even addressed particularly the women folk. Allah said, let not a group of women laugh at another group of women. Because this group laughing, the one being laughed at, 
might be better than the one laughing. And Allah said we should not defame each other. We should not backbite each other. We should not be suspicious of each other. Huh. Allah even asked, do you like to eat the dead flesh of your brother? Let's assume someone's brother passed away and people are engaged in the funeral activities. And this brother took a knife and went behind those ch um, cutting and chopping off the meat of the dead brother and eating it. Allah said, would you like to do that? Yeah, Allah, no, I wouldn't like to do that. He said, then stop backbiting because it's even worse than that. Nunyo oye doma, bua. Bua means backbiting. Doma moingai garu wale dinyerek. Allah said, stop backbiting. This is a command from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Stop attacking the honor and dignity of your, dignity of your Muslim brothers or non-Muslims for that matter. Stop attacking. It doesn't matter. Allah respect humanity. We need to give them the respect that they deserve for tabarakallah. Again, brothers and sisters, um, the Prophet sallallahu Hassan al-Basri, Hassan al-Basri said, the intelligent person is the one who puts his tongue behind his heart. He, he takes the tongue out, so to say, and puts it behind his heart. Whatever he needs to say, he has to ask himself, is it the right thing to be said? Am I doing it to please Allah? Will it harm anyone? Will it disturb anyone? Am I creating a problem? Am I causing um, 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 confusion and misunderstanding and disregard to everyone? If that's the case, yes, I'm not going to say anything. Hassan al-Basri said, this is the intelligent person. He said, the most ignorant person is the one who puts the tongue in front of the heart. So that whatever comes to mind, he would just reveal. He would just reveal. Only to realize, wow, I wasn't meant to say that. But then it's too late. It's been said. The Hassan, al Hassan said, the ignorant person is the person who would just be talking non-stop. Having the heart behind the tongue. And after having come cause a problem, then he, uses the, um, he utilizes the heart. And with the conclusion that, wow, I've made a mistake. I shouldn't have said this. And to, to be honest, at its best, all we can do is apologize. My friend, I am sorry, I won't do this again. But then it's too late, brothers and sisters. Let's be careful. A day will come when we will stand before Allah and the tongue will say, Ya Allah, I said this. I said this at such and such a day, such and such a place, without taking heed, without any regard. I was so much in need, Ya Allah, to say this. I, was, um, I wasn't um, considering you. Your priority was in me. And it, it will be so bad that the limbs will even test, um, 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 speak to the individual saying, why are you testifying against us even though we will all land ourselves in Jahannam? And the tongue, even the tongue on that day will say, you know what? And the limbs will say, you know what? We are not talking according to our own co accord. Whatever is said, we have been asked to say it by Allah. Antaqan Allahu ladhi, antaqa kulla shay. Allah who makes everyone to talk is the one who has made us talk. That's not our problem. It is Allah who said we will talk and we don't have a choice. For Tabarakallah, um, Sahal bin, um, Shah bin, uh, bin Saad said that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever can guarantee me this too, I will guarantee you Jannah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He does not talk according to his desire. وَمَا يَنْتِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوهَا the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Guarantee me the proper usage of these two, and I will guarantee you Jannah." That is, guarantee me the proper usage of that which is in between your two tongues and that which is in between the two legs. Then I will guarantee you Jannah. The Prophet said, "Guarantee me the proper usage of your tongue and your private parts, and I will guarantee you Jannah." And the Prophet does not talk according to his desires. When he says, "I will guarantee you Jannah," Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will definitely guarantee you Jannah on condition, on condition that you guarantee that whatever you say will be something that is pleasing to Allah. Hassan al Basri again. He said, "Wallahi." By the greatness of Allah. For the past 40 years, I have never looked at anything or decided not to look at anything. Or I have never opened my mouth to utter a single word or to withhold talking. Or I have never touched anything or ceased to touch. I have never walked a single step or decided not to except that I ask myself, is this pleasing to Allah? If it is, then I go, uh, I go ahead and carry on with the act. But if at all it's not pleasing to Allah, I cease to do what 
is meant what I intended to do. Hassan al-Basri said, I was doing this for 40 years, non-stop. I wouldn't open my mouth I, and talk until I'm sure it's the right thing to say. I wouldn't look at anything unless it is something to do. Even giving out, I don't give out until I'm sure that I'm doing it to please Allah Azza wa Jalla. Brothers and sisters, I quote um, Amr ibn al-As. He said, what are medicines? Like, what's, what's coming out of our mouths? They are like medicine. A small amount is good for you, but too much of it destroys you. What a good quotation. He said, what are like medicine? A small amount is good for you, too much of it destroys you. The prophet even said in a hadith, it is enough to brandish someone, a liar, who would talk about everything that he hears. You, I'm here talking to you. I have mentioned 5,000 words and you narrated everything. The chances are I might have made a mistake. And after narrating everything, you lied. So the prophet said it's enough to call someone a liar who would talk about everything that he hears. People compete each other to be the first person to give out a message without trying to confirm if it's the right thing or not. Even Allah said in the Quran, In ja'akum fasiqum bi naba'im fatabayyanu and to see bu kauman bi jahala fatusbi'u ala ma fa'altum nadimin. If a fasik, a tail bearer, <laughs> subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, Allah said, if a tail bearer comes to you, a tail bearer, someone taking information without verification and passing it on, Okay, it doesn't matter how close you are, how pious the individual is, how respectful, how, res how much respect you have for him. If he comes with that information that is meant to harm someone or destroy someone, Allah said, verify. Otherwise, and to see bu qawman bi jahala, you might wrong people out of ignorance. And at the end, what happens? Fatusbihu ala ma fa'altum nadi mean. You end up being regretful of your actions. So let's verify our actions, brothers and sisters. Make sure whatever we decide to say, let it be the thing, the right thing that should be said. Otherwise, we will dance to the tune. Maybe, if, maybe I'm doing so because I want, to be, I, want, I want attention. Maybe I'm an attention seeker. But these people I want to turn to me, eventually when I die, they will just forget about me. It wouldn't stop them eating benachin or domoda or dura. Or drinking attire if they have to. Now I'm gone. I will dance to the tune of my actions. Like I said, brothers, whatever is being said is well noted. The angel is writing. And on the day of Qiyamah, the angel will come and say, Ya Allah, here is the file. Every word that he has mentioned. I have written everything. I have not missed out, missed out on anything. وَقَالَ قَرِينُهُ وَقَالَ قَرِينُهُ هَذَا مَا لَدَيَّ عَتِيدٌ his companion. Which companion? Kiraman Katibin. Allah said, Kiraman Katibin. Kiraman Katibin. The honorable angels that do the right thing. They know every word that you utter. And on the day of Qiyamah, this companion of yours will stand before Allah and say, Ya Allah, wa qawana qarinuhu. His friend, his companion, the angel will say, Rabbana, our Lord, here is the information. Here is the file of Gasama. I have written everything. I have not missed out on anything. Knowing that, my brothers and sisters, we need to be prepared. Imam Shafi, rahimahullah, he said, the tongue, beware of your tongues. They are very dangerous. They are very harmful. They are like a snake. They are very poisonous. And many people have been destroyed due to the actions of their tongues. So brothers and sisters, we need to take heed. Because a day will come that there will be no regrets and had I known will not benefit us. Maybe I have used my tongue in order to earn this world, in order to convince someone to have status, to have wealth, or food, shelter, and clothing. If I amass a lot of that on the day of Qiyamah, it wouldn't benefit me. Allah said in the Quran, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَ اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٌ A day when neither wealth no children will avail the individual except someone who comes to Allah with a clean heart, a clean sheet of paper. 
Nothing, nothing stains on it. If you go to Allah with a clean sheet, Allah said that will benefit you, but not your wealth. Whatever you think will benefit you on that day will not. And besides, brothers and sisters, Allah said there is no good in what you say. Or there is no good in most of the things that you say when you open your mouth to speak. Except the one who enjoins to give sadaqah or enjoin kindness or enjoins good and prevent evil. Or someone who reconciles between people. That's the only goodness. Apart from that, Allah said, anytime you open your mouth, there is no goodness. لا خير في كثير من نجواهم إلا من أمر بصدقة أو معروف أو إصلاح بين الناس. There is no goodness in their secret talk, in their secret council, in their secret meeting, in their secret con um, conference. There is no goodness in it. Unless if at all that gathering or that speech he is giving is to enjoy giving sadaqah, helping out. Or unless if at all what he is about to say is an act of kindness or enjoying good and preventing evil. Or maybe what he is about to say is to reconcile between two enemies or between two people who, are, who have problems. In other words, the Prophet said, if you have nothing good to say, then keep quiet. Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir falyakul khayran aw liyasmut whoever believes in Allah on the last day let him say that which is right or be quiet fatabarakallah brothers in a nutshell um, we have a responsibility having said that it doesn't mean that everything that comes out of the mouth is evil obviously there are times when it is important to talk than to be quiet no wonder there is a saying it is good to talk but then when how, where, needs to be well taken care of. And inshallah, on that note, um, in our next deliberation, we will talk about the benefits of the tongue, um, um, what, what it can avail us in this life and the life hereafter. And instances wherein it is good to talk than to be quiet. So whatever is said that's in line with Quran and Sunnah, that's from Allah. If at all um, something else is added that's not supposed to be, that's my mistake. Fatabarakallah, and may Allah forgive us, inshallah. On that note, I would like to summarize what is being said in our local languages for the uh, benefit of the others, inshallah. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-karim. Mbadi ngolu ala tento kola mbe salla kila ma sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mbe shedi arinko to nyabatu mansa mantara kering mimba to se jonga nafa dunia jankata fuyo malkia. Mbe shedi arinko muhammadu ba mari mansa talale aki. Ando ayaki minna ayabeti mandile mbadi ngolu. Femo fem mandasa. Bi mbe lafila nga kacha kula miyalonka kumayata bake. Njawo miyalonka abe mfangolu bala. Njawo miyalonko nate laka wuli naka wuli. Naka lo. Jawo minya alonko ni mang haki loto ala jawo ya ala kuria ase tambi jorangol la ikafo jorangol minya weapons of mass destruction na nyin jawo ni mang haki loto atela fango be jawo la yalo woti nyin jawo do mumune te mba dingol wole mhadama dingol nengoti mba dingol nengol ye tinyari jamalek mba dingol Nengol ye chimati ya ntinyari jamal leke nyunduni yako no. Ya badi ya tinya, badi ya minyanta chokila, nengo ya tinya. Sinyo ya, nengo ya tinya. Teri ya, nengo ya tinya. Kanuntefu lolo, nengo ye tinyaro keje. Hada madingo kaa nengo ta aye mo tinya, aye mo neng, aye mo kajafi, aye mo koma kuma. Mari mansata la nyabe nyinka. Mari mansata la nyabe nyinka. Hmm. Hada madi ngwa se bara kendo ke sanji tang wala sanji muang wala sanji tang saba. Bari anengo damala dabaro wa saatina lungkiling ayikuma kili mfodong ayala baro beti nya. Uto mbasi mbadi ngwa mbeke hakili tulati. Kolumbi na amari mansata la. Aye ni malaiko le tuje. Ako hada madi ngwa ye kumakam wa kumakam fo malaiko le nyaba kang andu ibasa feka. Ma yalfidu min qawlin illa la dehi rakibun atida. Ite ye dayele, ye kuwa kumakamfo, kumafamfo dong, maari man sata lako malaiko lubije iba safi la. Abete maa ya safi, akuru maa ya safi. Andu yawma lungo amanka mwoto de, nengo lebe lola, ala maari man sata lako, inengo be lola, inengo bafo lako maari ontele ye nyimfo, nga nyimfo, nga nyimfo, nga nyimfo, nga nyimfo. Bulo kwa mfana ne nga nyimma, nga nyimma, nga nyimma, nga nyimma, singo kwa ntele tama teje. Ite beka nala muntu wala. Malaiko ya fisi safi. Asafiri mbandi ngwa ite nata lo mari mansata la nyako to nengo kontele ya fo. Bulo kontele ya ma. 
singo kon tele tarta tele tama tan tele tata ye malaiko mi yalla ko mari man sata la ya ki yo malunga bina fala ba fala mari man sata la fele ko yen ya mar min na fele nga be sa fele ni na baro ala baro la ay min ke kuruya to be fele nda fele wa qala qarinu rabbana hada ma radiya atid yen ya mar min na be sa fere bandi ngol fele woto mbadi ngol be ke wakilati nga lonko nyin nin lota mari man sata la ko non te nya ko ton te kanala de bayri ala ko la zul mal yom binte boyla mo kan de mo fanante boyla mo kan ala ko inni haramtu dhulma ka boy mo kan ka mo toñi nde ngo haram ya ndinte fa kan de nga haram ya dal kan al kana mu ñoo toñi al be ñoo tawni la ñaadi le mbaadi ngol nga ñoo toñi ne ngol la be nenduro ke la be ko maru ko maro ke la mba be mol be mol kajafila be doyala ha mo la ñato ta man la fi ka woje obviously am man kem beti bari mim bi konte ni nga taranka ke wala ñaam du kare nga ñaati di mari man sa talala jandi waati bina mi yete di bula dia mo la wotete na faala mfelem ben na kumol fala mbe nyin kela mbe nyin kela nje nyin kela tu man do baato tin ne ben nje duniya jang ben na fulo soto laje wala bedam be soto laje mba kayra ko soto laje ala ko lum bina wol beete na faala yawma la yanfa umalun wala banun illa man ata allah bi qalbin salim nun ne mi ya lon ko mola na fulo ta na faala mo dingol ta na faala mo la soto fengo ta na faala fo minning mario na mo na ta mario kan aning aning nio aning sondomo aning juzo aning limani ami yalon ka besen ya aning fatabarakallah wala tin nam be nyan ta keta kalalati insha allah kila sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aya fo hadiso kono kabo am khatsam abu saidul khudri ako somanda wa somanda hadama dingo ala sufol be kana e kadi amun ne ngoy e kay koy hakilo tun tolto de ntol bete la ko mani beti yata nga beti ya ni tinyata nga tinya kila sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ay wala fo nengola kuoto ning aya tar hadama di ngol la sufol be silata nengola mba di ngol ah woka wa kuyata ning aya tar na sufol be silata nengola fonka fay koy hakilo ntunte to e hakilo tunto tulo da bulo singo nya wol be kon nengo e ko ntol bete la ko ma ni tilinta nga tiling ni jenkata nga jenke ni kisa ta nga kisa ni kisa balia ta nga kisa balia woto mbadi ngol ngan hakilo tun ne ngol to dalal kumo be mim fola e ke kuti mi ya lon ko adiata mari man sa tallaye kila fon ya fo hadiso kono ako hada madi ngo sa ne ngo yalaye kuma kilim fo wo kuma kilingo wala be kala sababoti ala ya dundi jahanna bo kono kuma kilin dron kilin ama fo fula ama fo saba ni e daye le ye kuma kilin fo kila ya ko wo kuma kilin wa na manke kuma kendoti yo malungo ise lo ala nyaakoto ako al nyin dundi jahanna bo kono dalilo minati wolam ko ya ne ngole yele ay kuma fo min man dia mari man sattallahi kila sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ko hadama di ngola junubol asiyari ngo be min ka dundi jahanna ba ne ngola dabar wolam anin ne ngola baro mbadi ngol kafo mi interest be nga interest holon ki la sallallahu alaihi wasallam ako niya tala tala da nya tan woro wulale bije min do ya ta beti wolem ko mo aya balo musoti subhanallah interest ki la ko niya tala tala da nya tan woro wula min do ya ta beti wolem mo ya ba malo musola ana ba mai ala soki la ranka inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun ako min warata beti walam ibadim ibadim muslimo ya attack ya doya ala hormo nala bunya anala dignity anala respect ya attack yo be tabulu kila ko walam 70 yet want tan woro wulo min doya ta beti ni ko ko moka waleke wo mo na ta ta bulu bala te bita maral say min wara ta beti min sa tan konon tolka waleke mbadi wato mbe ke hakil to lati ni ko to insha allah ki la sallallahu alaihi wasallam ako momo ye ibadi ma ya ya buña ya horoma mari man sa talla ase tanka jahanna ba dungola yo malungo mi ya lonko mbe kan fan tanka nka nka ala dani wala en tanka ndi wala al jahanna ba dungo ala man be tanka la wala yo malungo ala se jahanna ba nyin nga foy fatale bang aka ko mari o foy foya soto le be min la falan to kamba yo man aqulu li jahannam halim talati wa taqulu hal min mazid ala kay foy fa ay fatale bang kay ko ala foy be dole la falanto wato mbeke wakilati insha allah um, hasanul basri ako ako mo mi nyamenta wala moti mi ya lonko a hakilo aka wala ka nengo nyato a nengo yitara ko yanda be fo fem fola a hakilo aka wala nyinin ka fo nyanta nyim fola le bang nga fa nyama le bang ala lafta la ma nyame nga fo wala nyama bang nga ke ala le kamma bang fo nga ke fam woro le kamma ning ayatara dalil kendo soto ay nadiyam 
bari ako momi ya longo hakili ntangolem ataka hakilo lta ayaka nengo koma nengo ena nyato duto nengo katudia mola drong fengo fenate hakilo to doite afo wokola ni sita aje ko je nyinde ngami fo manya na nyim fola nunde bara fela fo tam fe mfelen nimisa nimisata bari wonna miso aten nafala on imito zen nafala yo molo ngani munna ta ala nyako ta kai ko mario nyina tale mari man satalla ko nte wotala ah ako nte wotala ha yekila nyinin ka jumale muslimo kendo fangoti ako muslimo to nya to nya to nya ako wala moti mi ya lonko molki sata ne ngola dabaro wala na bulo la dabaro wala muslimo al muslimu man salima al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadi ah am sa'al bin sa'd ako kila sallallahu alaihi wasallam ko momo yen lahidi ko mimbe yam 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 ida ida kono wala min ngoti yen lahidi ko iba iba tankala iba kantala ani mimbe singo fulolu tema wa wolen ko hadama dingo ala auro iba tankala nyim fulolu akana dum kuto mimman dia alay kila ko ning aya tara yen lahidi wala nte kila sallallahu alaihi wasallam be lahidi la aljanna dum wala ko dum beke katalati insha allah imam shafi ako ala al hakilol tu al nengol to imam shafi ko nengo bukole ko sa Ha, sa ala tinyaro ako nengole tambita wati ako mo jamal le bije min yalon ko saaye saaye king ayefa nengo fanan na tinyaro sembo warta wala nyama mbadi ngol anim fanan kila sallallahu alaihi wasallam hmm. ako um, hadiso kono ako um, ako ne momo dankeni ata dunia um, man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir momo dankeni ata alala ani yawma lungo fal yakul khairan aw yasmut ako kuma ken do fo wala yede o to mbadi ngol mbeke katalati ha nga lonko lumbina mbebe lola mari nya mari man satalla nya koto abe nyinin kala na barolla ha andum fengo fente jonga na fala je fo bara ken do wala tin fa tabarakallah dia mo siyata bari min kum ma yata nin hadama dingo be dia mo la ay ku fo min dia ta alay akana ta pula had ala kasida akana ta bula badi ngol kasida akana ta bula mulu kasida hani te ko ite yaaje ko momu ite jawolte bari ni be diamula tiling kuma kendo fo wala yede man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir falyakul khairan aw yasmul bari fanang ning ayataran ko nengo mu weapons of mass destruction leti akati nyar jamal leke ku dol fanam bi jemi nyalon ko nafa babi je nengo la baroto mi nyalo ko insha Allah um, Watu la suti yaka mante duna jebi Bari um, uh, um, Deliberation wa mbimina kote mbela Fila diyamu la nafaa mbije Wati dola akumayata ka diyamu Fangwole yefisa kedei Kuta ala maala ya besu wani andi insha Allah uh, Inna alhamdulillah na ahmadu huwa nusalli ala rasulihi l-karim Mwaka yiga na abu nyusante yalla Juli chiyo nintebi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Nyusede na amud ben nabur Bunyu wara jamu chidega lududi yalla Nisede na Muhammad ya Allah ko yoni te jami ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya Allah ko ya Allah yoka al-khiwal te muchal ko. Mwaktani taibi mungi aju chilu amsolo. Mungi aju chili nga hamne da naka sa nyako muna oye non la. Non bi nga hamne mungi su nyubir. Bunyo teda teda ak mom. Bunyo ke joga ak mom. Funyo dem andak mom. Nyo oye ko naka lamen. Lamen non la. Da hamnak muna nyo amal jiri nyo bare 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 bare. Wai nak li mo yakha da fa bare. Si vous avez une vidéo, vous pouvez vous dire que vous avez une vidéo qui est très bien. 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 Vous avez une vidéo. La men bi la nyo jel di dekal nit fum dekout. Nyo nge def li, yalla nko jis. Wa emout chi jis bobu, yalla subhana wa ta'ala, mou yoni ay malayka. Ne bu ki joge andalak mom, bu toge andalak mom, bu tede andalak mom. Lim fim dem dem alak mom, lim wak binda ko. Kon su nga nge wak rek malayka bi binda na. Yalla ne ma yal fidu min qawlin illa la dehi rakibun atid. Mom dafa men ni kutok tiye penam, lo wak me binda. Wa li chi gena garao bes pencha de nyo taho chi kanami yalla. Ils ont dit qu'il n'y a pas de Dieu. Je n'ai pas dit que Dieu n'a pas dit que Dieu. Si on a dit que Dieu n'a pas dit que Dieu n'a pas dit que Dieu n'a pas dit que Dieu. Et ce qui est le plus important, c'est que Dieu n'a pas dit que Dieu n'a pas dit que Dieu n'a pas dit. Jurum fikir tiada mereka dua bobo nono hanya wah na bepare. Wahai lana cibah, ak lana cibah hot, lana lachi wara wah, ak lana lachi wara wah hot. Man kau mama angge wah rek, di wah rek. Yunin tibidoi na rek purnit kini kafenkat. Kinga hamne lumbi ga wako. 
te yow soy deglu nit muy wax wa juromi temere kaddu yow nga repeat juromi temere kaddu yoy non bu amé ay mistake yim ci def hen na mom mistake la wa yow yang don repeat yi nga repeat ale yeb neka bakar kon jaru ko mbokay ha jaru ko mbokay buñu ko dara jaral du alali adina du cier du makama du mako fi ndeka wax mako fi ndeka yek mako fi ndeka yegle amul solo amalut ñu ben sens i am the first to know ma ko ndeka yek ba ko ndeka wax ma joke jama ndeka joxe xibar bi gatche nak passé wul nga joxe xibar ñu realize ne ndeke xibar bi du dega yonte bi dañ ko laaj ñetta ci julit ndax dina melni mu ne wa mun na mel nonu ci mistake ndax dina melni mun na mel nonu ci mistake wa ñu ne ko ndax julit dina fen mu ne julit du fen ha abou soufian dafa am ben bis mu demon ci bour bi waxtu meyit ñuko ci gatal bour bi daf don laajte abad muhammad abou soufian wax ko dega Wow. after lan la abou soufian wa mune man suma ragalu ton ñu oyé ma fen kat ni ko dina don fen pour muna wacce muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam pour muna wacce dignité wa ibou soufian mom mom xerem la don jamu waye nu mo jamu 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 xerem yom jomba na fen jomba na gene kaddu ci lamé ñam bi nga xamné nekku dega kon bokay ñu baye xel lamé ñi bi ya xana lu bari waaw dafa melni ndox bu turu so démé be wax rak nga réccu lu tax ma wax li ci man suma yegon duma ko wax ban jiriñ la ma nekkal ha yow ñu ne malaika ya nga record yow nga dem record sa bopa wax li amut malaika bi lim record rek doyna wa yow nga amal sa bopa evidence am kenen diko dega ñenen diko dega ñenen diko dega ñeken diko dega ha lolu orut motax mbokay ñu bayyi suñu xel lepp lu ñoo wax mu or ñu ne li neex yaalla subhanahu wa ta'ala le ñoo wax waye nekkut li nga xamne mo na hari borom bi subhanahu wa ta'ala ah yonent bi nak sallallahu alayhi wasallam mu ne suba su nekk domi adama bi suba su nekk domi adama bi ciri yeb dañoo ñew loxo bot nopa tanka ñep ñew ci ron lamegn bi ne ko bayil xel ci ñun de ñun sa gannaaw lañ nekk bo jubbe ñu jub bo dengue ñu dengue bo texé ñu texé bo kasara ñu kasara legi bu de domi adama ci rami sax ci rami sax ñeme ñun lamegn bi kon lolu o ruddi man suma ciri nopa bakken bo tanka dañ ragal lamegn bi bene ko moy tuñu ci yalla bes pencha bo jubbe dinañ jub adinak alakhirah nga denga ñu te ñu denga adinak alakhirah nga texé di ñu texé di andi dak alakhirah legi man suma ciri buñ ragalé suma lamegn naka ki nga xamné mom la jublu diko wax naka sudut nonu motax mbokay ñun yeb war nañu gor gollu yonte bi sallallahu alayhi wasallam mune nit ki mun na jégué aljanna be digante mak aljanna dafa melni loxo bi comme sibir an arms length waye ngir lamé ñam ben kaddu bu bon bim def ñu soril ko aljanna mu sori ko ciodi digante bu soré 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 ha mu ne nit ki muna wax ben kaddu te du ci baye xel sax bes pencha yalla ne dugal len ki jahannam suñ don la yalla lutax mu ne dafa am ben kaddu bu mu waxon rek bobu la ko hicce watat ko bem dugabir aljanna ci ben kaddu bobu legi naka ki nga xamne mom wax rek di wax rek du baye xel lu mo wax wax be paré nga realize be paré tamit cheytan dafa cheen wog la dafa bari dole dina wax di wax di wax ma dem be min ko tamako ma wax naka sudud nonu sax mu or mané li amut way ma am rey ci man pour djégalu wala pour ñew né li dé mako waxon way djumna du amati lolu rey la té ñun rey cheytan lañ ko xamalé cheytan lañ xamé rey mbokay du doomi adam kon ñun ñep ñu gor gor lu fa tabarakallah yonte bi sallallahu alayhi wasallam mu né mandé bo ma digé nga garanti ma ñaar man dina la garanti aljanna garanti ma ñaar ne sa lamegn do ding ko ding ko ding ko ding ko baye xel do ci wax lu dul lu neex yalla nga garanti ma ne sa lu nek sa digante yalla daari tankay do ci moy yalla moy do moy yalla ci ñalo te nga garanti ma ne sa lamegn do ci moy yalla wax naka sudu nonu yonenté bi ne sa aljana paré na ngan ma la ko dig kon motax mbokay ñun yépp war nañu gor gor lu fa tabarakallah yonenté bi nak sallallahu alayhi wasallam mu ne kep ki nga xamné sama na onom ak dignity mbokki julitam yalla subhanahu wa ta'ala dina ko sama dina ko ar dina ko sutural ko sutural sa mbokki julit yonenté bi sallallahu alayhi wasallam mu ne yalla subhanahu wa ta'ala dina la musal safara lan moy safara safara bi nga xamné bes pencha yalla dina ko naaj ne ko safara mu ne ko naam mu ne ko ndax fesna mu ne ko yalla bété inda amulo no ma yokka man de amna space pour ku ñew alim talaati wa taqul hal min mazid kon ñu baye xel bes bi mbokay xamne munta jaas dina ñew hasanul basri mune hasanul basri mune ku gëna mus ci nit ñi moy ki nga xamne lamé ñam daf ko tek ci gannaaw xelam xelam jitu bala wax dara lamé ñi daf ko segga mu xamne li luñ wara wax la li lu neex yalla la te buma ko waxit yalla ma tahajjuk li ma wax ni bu ci yalla andé bes pencha duma ci am ben gatché li ma wax ni fu mbolo nek dina ko repeat duma am dala duma ci rus li ma wax ni buñ ma bété duma tit den haramo wax ko su dé bokku ci yoyu 
no pie como or nga res nga nga respect sa bopa nak bo kay mu ne way ku gëna doy di ci nit ñi gëna nek ignorant ku gëna ñaka xel ku xamul dara moy ki nga xamne mom la meñ bi dafa ñew ci kanam mu ne xel bi ne taxaw xaar taxawal xaar ma muy wax rek nak di rivir rek muy ñew rek su deme be tok togaat mu or ko ne ah li de ma wax waru mako wax wala ni deme wut nonu wara li opana bu ko defé mu reccu fekk reccu amul ñeriñ ya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala wa na ci qur'an mu ne bu ne ñewé ak xibar yebane ne len ne ak information mu ne ngeen setat biram waaw ndik nit mu na ñew wax la dara ne ki mo def ni wala ni mo leen ni nga nangu ne lolu mo xew fekk lolu amut nga yow realize ne lolu dafa rong nga reccu fekk reccu amut jeriñ kon bokay ñun yeb ñu gor golu am imam shafi mu ne ñu moytu lamen bi mu ne dafa melni jaan and ak poison jaan bu and ak poison te ñep xam nañ jaan nu mel te jaan lu mo ray bari na jaan lu mo ray bari na imam shafi ne ñu moytu lolu amr ibn al-as mu ne kaddu bu ñoo wax seigne lamen mu ne dafa melni fa melni garab garab bo ci nane lu em bax na ci yow bo jele overdose nak nga de daf la ray mu ne lu ci lu em dal bax na ci yow waye bu opé rek nga toskare moy nga de nga xal ko la meñ bi nak buñ ci wax na nekal du deggu wa na nekal du deggu bu de deggu wut ñu nopi yonnte bi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mu ne kep ku gom yalla te gom nga ne bes pencha dina taxaw ci kanam yalla taxaway bi ño taxaw taxaway bes pencha yonnte bi ne bo gome lolu mu ne waxal lu bax te nga nopi wala nga wax lu bax mba te nga nopi waye li ci am solo moy mbokay bo waxe lu bax be pare nopi Hasan al-Basri mi junoon wax ni mu ne ñen fukki at man hasan musuma ngang pour wax wala man nopi ñak wax man hasan musuma xol wala man ñak xol man hasan musuma lal wala man ñak lal man hasan musuma jeggi tank wala ma jeggi tank ñen fukki at lu dud rek man laaj sa bu ma bopa ndax li neex na yalla ndax neeko ko bu ko neexé ma def ko bu dé luñ wara def la ma def ko bu dé luñ waruta def la ma bayyi tay nak yow bo taxé man ma wax lima waruta wax nga tax ma def luma waruta def nga dekalo ma fuma dekut nga tax ma dekalo nit fum dekut nga tax ma en nit ki dara wax dara ci nit nagn imagine tay ma wax dara ci yow te amut ba pare ma record ko yow nga dem deklu ko ay junney nit deklu ko say setane waxu dega wa yaxana hel ñep di xolé ko ku bon bobu yalla mere la nagn jappane li nga wax ci mom sa amna waaw ki satcha kat la fi fen kat la ki rambaj la nagn jappane lolu yeb amna mbokey waye ganaaw bo waxe lolu rambaj bi satcha kat bi fen kat bi mu delu joy tub ci yalla yalla ne ko jegal na la legi ganaaw bu ko yalla jegale tay video bobu ñu ko setan for the next 20 years ku ko gis rek saga ko has ko jow ko ku tasse ak mom sax gis ko yalla content ci mom te du malaika nak mbokey yalla gis ko kon nit ngi gis ko content ci mom ñuy wax mbam ci mom mu ne len ki satcha kat bu mag bi ñu ne la lu ko def satcha mu ne len video bango wa video bobu nonu kan moko kan moko upload mohammed acci be bes penja man mu na desa nek ci bir bamel video bi des fi ha ni ngi diko xol di la togn di la saga di la has di la tutil di la tital di la doyadil ya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala na ubi len bug bi nak li mom moko 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 waral na continuer te dina ko affect adina fi ak allah akhirah ko tam bokay nagn set ci yalla yalla ñu yalla may fan may ñu wer de bi dafa gaaw dafa gaaw tay so deme youtube di nga fekk ñu bari ñu doon wax legi ñu ci bir bamel suñu waxon lu bax ni ñang ci ndiri waré yu bari nek youtube ni ñang ci ndiri ñoo seen borom naka imam bun jeng rahimahullah ci kiñ xam ci banjul be tay ji ñu ngé waxtané bun jeng lepp luñ wax nit ki déggu ko am ci ndiri ñi rek mu ngi ko fekk ci bir bamel bi waye kenen ko dud bun jeng su waxé naka su dud nonu ñu record ko be so déyé after 100 years dina la fa fekk bug bi di tejju ndax li jaruta halat mbokay jaruta halat ba neex bi dafa jeex dafa am luy ñew di dog ba neex moy de te mun ta jass legi mu ñew suma ne legi mu ñew moy ku ci am juroom fuka bul expecter mer loko wajale te ñu ne luy gëna dugal nit ki safara moy la miñam yow ya nge wax rek non stop amulo limit amulo frontière ngay wax rek so amu opportunity pour nopi sax do nopi pour lan wax be mar wax be hif wax be tutil sa bopa wax be doyadil sa bopa yalla bugul lolu ñu ne so bugge sa cadeau mut na nga amala li nga wax so amul lu bax li nga wax no pil nagn def ni hasanul basri kon yalla ñu yalla defal jamm bu de lolu amna nak mbokay ne ku ne kaddu yi ñoo wara nopi dañ wara nopi rek amna fi nga xamne wax mo gën nopi de amna ki nga xamne dafa wara wax mo nopi bu ko yalla tiye du bax ci mom de mota bu ci yalla ande suñu next video dinañ waxtane lolu ñaan yalla yalla jappale ñu la meñ bi mu doon xarit bu mu doon non we point of mass destruction yalla ñu ci yalla musal
té man gis nañu lolo suñu lamé kon yalla défal ñu jamm insha Allah Allahumma ahdina fi man hadayt wa afina fi man afayt wa tawallana fi man tawallayt wa barik lana fi ma atayt wa qina wa shrif anna sharra ma qadayt fa innaka taqdi wa la yuqda alayk innahu la yadhillu man walayt wa la ya'izzu man adayt tabarakta rabbana wa ta'alayt nastaghfiruka min kulli dhanbin wa natubu ilayk wa nu'minu bika wa natawakkalu alayk wa nuthni alayka alkhayra kulla يا من يجير ولا يجار عليه اجرنا من النار ومن خزي النار ومن كل عمل يقربنا الى النار ودخلنا الجنه مع الابرار يا عزيز يا جبار انا نسالك رضاك والجنه ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار انا نسالك الجنه وما قرب اليها من قول وعمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب اليها من قول وعمل برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تذق قلوبنا بعد إذا هديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب يا إله الأولين ويا إله الآخرين يا هادي المدلين اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واشرف عنا شر ما قديت فإنك تقدي ولا يقدى عليك إنه لا يدل من واليت ولا يئز من آديت تبارك ربنا وتعاليت نستغفرك من كل ذنب ونتوب إليك ونؤمن بك ونتوكل عليك ونثني عليك الخير كله يا من يجير ولا يجار عليه أجرنا من النار ومن خزي النار ومن كل عمل يقربنا إلى النار ودخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا جبار اللهم ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم تب علينا يا مولانا انك انت التواب الرحيم واغفر لنا وارحمنا انك انت الغفور الرحيم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وعلى اصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى انصار سيدنا محمد وعلى ازواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذريه سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الذي نصر الدين واحب المساكين وكفل اليتيم وهدى الى صراط مستقيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا احسن الجزاء يلا يلا دفل